with yet another DJ's Brew 2 Mixed Drink How To. Looky what we got in front of us here, guys. We got a big old pile of booze and ingredients, so you know we're getting our major mixed drink making on today. And what are we going to make with all these fine ingredients? We're going to make white sangria. Now you're saying, DJ, the wine, I don't see it in the, in the ingredients you got in front of you. I'm looking through the picture here on the camera. Where is it? Well, it's upstairs. We're going to put that here in part two of the video. But first up, we got to bring our friends booze to the party. Because DJ don't make any normal white sangria. Hell no. You know how we roll with DJ's brew tube. We make some kick-ass white sangria. That's right. That's because we've got vodka, rum, and triple sec or orange liqueur in it. Man, I'm feeling the love already. So, how do we make this? this is, it's as easy as cutting up some ingredients, dumping it into a pitcher for part one. So, in this cup here, I've got one cup of white rum and one cup of vodka, and we pour it into our pitcher. We've got a two liter pitcher here. Now, I'll put the entire recipe, of course, as I always do in the notes section. Next, we're going to add our sugar. We've got raw sugar here. I've got four tablespoons of raw sugar. We're going to put that in. That gets happy in the party there. Okay, next up, we've got one cinnamon stick. It's festive holiday time, right? Boom, we put that in there. Man, we're talking difficult stuff here. Okay, after that, we've got one, gran two, actually two Granny Smith apples um, diced and put into our bowl here. We're going to pour that in. Man, you know, this is difficult. I don't know if you guys can handle this out there. We're tube land. All right, next thing we got. We've got in here a tangerine, one tangerine, one navel orange, one lime, and one lemon. And we're gonna put that into the mix. Now what's all this stuff gonna do? It's gonna marinate in here overnight, and it's going to flavor our fruit, and it's gonna flavor our liquors. Now tomorrow, we'll take this out, we'll pour out our renderings, we'll save some of the fruit. Look at this, we're stacking it all up in here. Is it gonna fit? I think so. There we go. Got everything in there. So you see we're packed up here. Lastly, we're gonna put in our triple sec. Pour that up over the top. Now, we'll cover this up. We're Look, real simple. We've put some ingredients into the pitcher with sugar and we're gonna let it set overnight. It doesn't get much easier than that. So we're gonna let this all get happy and I'll be back tomorrow and we'll show you how we finish off our sangria. I think we can handle pouring some wine, can't we? Mixing it up and then drinking it and maybe topping off with a little soda. Yeah, that's right. So we'll see you in part two, back in a flash, at least for you anyway. Oh, we're going to let this sit overnight, by the way, if I didn't mention, because I'm all excited about making this. So I don't always have a clear train of thought. So back in a flash. Hey, gang, I'm back. It's time to marry our wine with our lovely booze. That's right. And you can see in front of here, we've got a whole bunch of booze rendered with some lovely fruit color in it. How did that happen? Well, as you can see, we've got a whole bowl here of our fruit. And what I did is I took the fruit and the liquor that was in this vessel, and I strained it using this wire mesh strainer into another one. And I've separated our fruit apart into this bowl, as you can see. So when we serve this up, we'll put the fruit back into there. It's already infused with a lovely flavor and we have enough extra that we can put it in glasses for later and I'll show you what a finished drink of this looks like when we finish it off with a bit of seltzer water. So what's the next step? This one's really technical. I'm gonna take this bottle of wine here. I'm gonna turn the top. Oh, and I'm gonna open it. Now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pour it into the pitcher. We're not talking rocket science here, guys. We got white wine mixed in with our, as you remember, our rum, vodka, triple sec, and flavored from our lovely, lovely fruit here. So now what you do after this, you'll stir it up. I've left the cinnamon stick in there because I kind of like it. Now what I'll do, um, I'll stir this up and I'll come back and I'll show you what a prepared drink like is like and preparing that final drink. I'll be back in a flash. Okay, gang, I'm back. We're going to prepare our drink now. We've got our wine combined with our liquors that have been infused with all those lovely fruit flavors and the cinnamon and our pitcher here. Now we're going to put in our lovely glass here. We've got a stemless snifter. These are real kind of popular right now. They're sort of posh looking. As you see, I've got my lemon, my lime, my tangerine, my orange, and my apples in there. Everybody wants a little bit of that fruit because one of the joys of sangria is eating the fruit also. At least I think so. Plus, it's infused with more booze. So how could it be bad? So... <laughs> We're going to take from our pitcher, and we're going to pour into our glass. And we're going to take it up to right about there. Now you can see our fruit automatically starts to float, and I give it a little swirl. And the aroma is awesome, man. The, the fruit, that you can smell the apple, the orange, the tangerine, everything just popping off of this. And the background's got a hint of that cinnamon. So one way I like to finish this is with um, lemon lime flavored seltzer water because it's not extra sweetness or anything like that but it gives it that little bit of 
fizzy sort of mouthfeel to the drink. It makes, you know, kind of that extra layer of texture that you want in, in a, you know, drink like this. Um, you can use 7-Up, you can use Sprite, um, Fanta, any, you know, Fanta Lemon Lime, you can use Fresca, any of those that you like in this drink. I prefer this because it's just bringing the lemon lime flavor with that seltzer kick. So we're going to crack this open. Hopefully it won't explode on me like they do sometimes. Awesome. And then we just kind of top it off right at the top like that. Boom. Now, we're, some people like to mix this. I don't. You know, you can, but you know, you know what? I'll show you. You take your spoon here and you just give it a good mix in and that puts the fizz all through and stirs up your fruit a bit. Look at that, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? That's just going to set your holiday party off. Man, lovely drink. White sangria, something really neat, unique you can bring. And this is a sneaky ass drink too, guys. The flavor of the alcohol is really well masked by the wine and all that fruit flavor. And you got to be careful with this one because you will get crunk. Let's give it a taste or let's see what the aroma is like. Mm, just like I said before, now it's bloomed up even more because this hit of the lemon lime that comes out from that and the seltzer water has opened up the drink some. Man, I gotta have a taste of this. Cheers, Happy New Year, whatever your holiday is, summer, winter, fall, you can drink this anytime. Cheers. Damn, that's good. Wow. You know there's alcohol in it, but those lovely fruits and that sweetness is in there. Man, it just brings it in the flavor category. Now, if you want, you can put additional sugar in this above the four tablespoons that I put in. If you want a sweeter drink, that will mask the alcohol even more and make it even more dangerous. So, here you can see, guys, we've kind of infused some booze and hit it off with a little wine. And you know with this drink, you're going to have a good time. So, until next, DJ's Brew Tube. thanks a million for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you enjoy your drink. Be safe out there. Until then, damn, that's a big ass. Peace out! Hey guys, I'm back. I want to go over a couple like notes about the white sangria here. We had the party man. You can see I'm down to a bottle here. I'll explain that in a minute. And it was a lot of fun, man. I made a big ass batch of this. It was 750 of this plus it was it was over a liter and a half total volume. I think it came out to, and I'm down to about half of it now. One of the cool things about this white sangria is all you have to do is press and strain the fruit and then take it through a little bit of a sieve and a funnel and you can store it in your bottle here. There's citrus in it but there's so much booze once you make all the alcohol addition and everything that it keeps for a good long while. The longest I've ever been able to keep it around because I drank it <laughs> is like about two weeks and it's been just fine the entire time. Actually the flavor got a little bit better and integrated after it sat a few days but that's just a uh, you know alcohol to fruit breaking it down and everything the flavor infusing more thoroughly into the alcohol, the wine and the booze. So I've got a glass here, I've got some fruit in it. Um, this is the same fruit that's been floating in rum, so it's been <laughs> totally fine because I make batches of this now and again, so I keep it around. Um, one of the questions I had when I had the party, they said, hey, DJ, this tastes a little bit strong. You know, I, I want to you know, weigh down that alcohol taste a little bit. I don't like it tasting that big like you do. And I said, well, you know what, no problem. Let me show you what to do. So with this, like I said, we're storing it up here in our bottle here. This is the wine bottle that we use when we make it. We just give it a shake, uncap. Now I pour it into the glass. Now I'm going to go about halfway into the glass. I'm going to go just above the fruit right there. Okay, so this is sort of our concentrate, right? Now the way to adjust the flavor of this drink is really easy. It's with our club soda or our seltzer, flavored seltzer here. So you can use 7-Up, like I said, Sprite, whatever, Fanta. Pour it in here, and the more soda you put in, the more it dilutes the drink. But it doesn't really take away from it. I got it about 50-50 here because it's got its own lemon lime flavor but what it does is that lemon lime flavor addition pushes down the taste of the alcohol and hides it in that soda so we give it a little bit of a stir with our spoon now let's taste it now i like it i like it just straight like this because yeah i like it like that but <laughs> um, i like to taste my alcohol some people do some people don't this is for those who don't let's take a taste cheers man super mild now more wine cooler like so if you have friends at the party that don't want as big of a tasting drink but they still want this experience with a white sangria just remember add a little bit more of the uh, seltzer water you can tamp it down they're still getting all that booze up in there and they're still getting your great creation that you made and then other people like more intense we just change it with the addition here of the flavored seltzer water real simple trick and i hope you guys enjoy your drink till the next time thanks a million for watching and that's a big ass pizza.